Hello guys, this is Code and Code and this is another lecture of this graph theory series and in this lecture we are going to study about bipartite graph and how to check whether the given graph is bar, uh, bipartite or not. So let's start. So what is the definition of bipartite graph? Bipartite graph also known as biograph. A graph so that you can divide the vertex set into two uh, different sets such that each vertex belongs to exactly one of the two sets and uh, each edge connects vertices of two different sets that is in the graph if there is an edge uh, in the graph all the sets uh, all the vertices we can divide those into two different sets and each edge must lie in the first or in the second set that is each edge must be part of one of the two sets and each vertex must be in exactly one set and if there is an edge then it must connect vertices of two different sets so let's take an example suppose this is a given graph then I can define set A as 1 3 5 and set B as 2 4 and 6 I define two set it is not necessary that both the set contain the same number of elements uh, it is also possible that uh, one set contains all the elements and another set contains no elements at all so it is all uh, also possible uh, the only thing that we need to keep in mind is that it must satisfy both condition first each vertex must be in one of the two sets and second if there is an edge then it must uh, connect two vertices of two different sets so if i rearrange redraw the graph in this manner uh, keeping all the nodes which are in the same sets in one side so we can see the set a elements are drawn here while set b set uh, vertices are drawn here so you can see there is whenever there is an edge it connects the vertices from set 1 to set 2 there is not even a single edge which connects two element from the same set you can see there's no edge which connects two node from the same set and hence it's a bipartite graph now how we can calculate it one important thing you see here uh, instead of uh, since uh, the given graph in the given graph all we have to check is whether the given graph is bipartite or not so we don't have to uh, uh, partition these into and save these vertices in sets all we can do is simply color them uh, with two different colors that is why is this problem is also known as uh, two coloring problem so all the elements which lie in one set would be given single color say zero or one and another elements which lie in the another set can be given just opposite number uh, i mean uh, let's mark all these as one and all these as zero so all these nodes are colored as one and all these nodes are colored as zero so in the dfs call we would also what we would do we would color or all, all the vertices which are not colored so if the if any of the node is colored say zero then the next node which is directly connected to it since they share an edge hence the next node must have a different color if both of them having an edge between them if both two nodes are having the same color then it would violate the second condition that there should not be any edge between two nodes which lie in the same set that is why if there is an edge then both of the end point must must be colored differently so if the node is colored zero then all the nodes which are directly connected to it must be colored with color one so in the dfs call whenever uh, we make a dfs call to its child whatever color we have we would just invert it if we have zero color then all the child must be colored one if we have one color then all the child must be colored with zero and in the dfs call we would pass the node as well as the color of that node so this is the node number to which we land and this is the color of this node so as soon as we land in any node what we do we will mark it as visited so we did here and then our col is the color array so color of the node v 
is also set as C. C is either 0 or 1. Now, in the adjacency list of all the childs, in the adjacency list of all the, in the adjacency list, sorry, in the adjacency list of node V, V traverses all the child one by one. And if the current child is not visited, that means it is not colored yet. So we would make a DFS call to that, to that child and pass the color. So if the current node is having color zero, this is XOR operation in C++. So if the current node is having color zero, then uh, performing in XOR operation with zero, uh, with one, it would become one. And if it was one, then it would become zero. Basically, we are inverting using XOR operation. You can also use NOT operation. So using this, we can pass the color of the children directly without checking if else condition. Otherwise, we have to check if C is zero, then pass one. If C is one, then pass zero. Instead of doing that, we can either uh, use a NOT operation or XOR. So I'm using XOR operation to pass the color of the children from the current node. And but uh, as you can see, this DFS returns a bool. So this node would check all of his edges. If even a single edge, even a single edge of this node connects two nodes, which are having the same color, then it would return false, indicating that this graph is not bipartite, which we are doing here. If the child is already visited, that is both of both the node and the child are having colored and we have to, to check the color of both of them if if both the nodes are colored in the same color that indicates that it violates the second condition and hence we would return false so if the child is not colored we would make a dfs call to it to color it and after coloring that node that dfs function itself would return true or false if that DFS function returns false, indicating that that node has found some edge which was violating second condition and hence if that returns false, we would not complete this for loop and from at the same position, we would return false, indicating that yes, this graph is not bi bi uh, bipartite, so there is no point continuing this execution and hence we would return from the same point and we would return false otherwise if the child is not visited we would check whether the both the parent and the child having the same color if they both are having the same color we would return false otherwise if this adjacency list have been traversed successfully and we haven't found even a single edge which is violating the second case second condition hence we would return false oh sorry we would return true indicating yes from this note we haven't found any uh, edge which violates second condition and if all the notes return true hence the graph is bipartite so let's take an example to see this in action so this is the visited array and this is the color array of each node so in the main function and this is stack as all as you already know and this is the adjacency list of each node so in the main function function we made a dfs call to one and pass the color as one so in the stack we have dfs one now we are at node one we marked it as visited and also marked its color so in the adjacency list of one there is two so we, may, we would make a dfs call to node two passing the color as zero because the current node is having color one so the children would have color zero so we would pass zero as its color and hence as soon as we reach node 2 we would make it visited and also set its color to be zero now in the adjacency list there is one in the adjacency list of two since we are at node 2 and uh, dfs2 is currently being executed but whatever is in the top of the stack that function gets executed so dfs2 is on the top and hence dfs2 is being executed in the adjacency list of two there is one and since one is visited as we can see we would compare the color of node 2 and node 1 since the color of node 2 and node 1 are different so there's no problem with that and now there is three so we would make since three is not visited so we would make a dfs call to three and pass the color as one since the node one uh, sorry the node two was having color zero so node three would have inverted color that is one as soon as we reach node three we mark it as visited and set its color in the adjacency list of three there is two and two is already visited and since the color of two and three are different so it doesn't violate second case and hence we move on 
to node 4 and since node 4 is not visited so we would make a dfs call to node 4 passing the color 0 since node 3 was having color 1 so node 4 would get color 0 so node 4 gets visited and sets its color to 0 and now in the adjacency list of 4 there is 2 and 2 is already visited so we would check whether the node 4 and 2 are having the same color and we can see that yes node 2 and node 4 are having the same color as we can see here as well so this violates the second case and hence it would return false from here there is no point continuing its execution so from this point it would return false as soon as it returns false it gets removed from stack and node 3 re uh, receives false as soon as node 3 returns uh, receives false it would stop its execution and return false to node 2 and then in the execution uh, in the execution of dfs2 stops because it has re received false so node 2 uh, as soon as it receives false it would return false to node 1 which had made a dfs call to 2 so it would return to its parent that is 1 and since false have been uh, node 1 also receives false as a value from dfs2 so it knows that yep the graph is not bipartite so it would return false in the main function as well so it would also return false and hence as the whole function returns false we know that the given graph is not bipartite and the special thing about bi bipartite graph is that if there exists a, a cycle of odd length we can see it is a cycle of length 3 if there is, exists a cycle of length odd then the given graph is not bipartite while the even length graph are or, or can be bipartite so since it contains a cycle of odd length hence it is not bipartite so let's look at the code again as soon as we reach any node we mark it as visited and set its color to c in the adjacency list of this node we traverse all the children if the children is if the, that current child is not visited we would make a dfs call to that child and inverting the color of the current node and if that dfs call return false indicating that yes the graph is not bipartite so there is no point continuing this execution so we would return from that point and we would also return false indicating that yes the graph is not bipartite otherwise we would continue and if the child is not uh, if the child is visited so we would compare the color of current child and the parent if though both of them are having the same color which actually violates the second condition and hence it would return false from here otherwise if this execution completes successfully then we would not return from here which would indicate that yep not a single edge has found which violates second case and hence we would return true from here so this is how we do bipartite graph test and in the next lecture we would solve a problem which is quite an interesting problem from Spodge which utilizes the concept of bipartite graph. So if you haven't understand it I know it's a bit difficult just go through that video again at 2x speed or whatever you want and just make sure you are good with it before starting for the next lecture. So thank you guys for watching. Yep, keep. Keep coding.